If it were up to Robbie, the chip factory would be out of bounds for people. Robbie checks whether his human colleagues are bringing too much humidity, dust, or other contaminants in with them, potential risks that Infineon cannot afford to let endanger its painstaking operations. Here in Dresden, we tend to have the more complicated production processes. That means at least 500 to 700 individual steps. For all the modern chips that people need for energy-saving control units and the like, the figure can rise up to 1,200. 1,200 separate operations on one single wafer, a round slice of silicon that serves as a platform for chip production. Each can yield up to 70,000 chips. Different materials are applied layer by layer. Silicon, glass, aluminum, and copper. Wafers typically remain in the manufacturing process for at least a month. In the case of more complex products, 10 weeks. Infineon is one of the few silicon chip manufacturers in Europe, and it's only recently recovered from a serious crisis. The firm's Dresden plant alone laid off 4,000 workers in the wake of intense global competition. Infineon eventually sold off its memory chip division. CEO Peter Bawa is now focusing on products like high-performance chips for mini-computers and other popular innovations. Bauer has his eyes on growing demand in Asia. The company already makes half of its turnover on the continent. The core issues for our business are energy efficiency, communication and security. And we're seeing a significant upswing in all three. Energy efficiency is being driven by demand for energy-saving products, from power packs to engines and cars. On the communication front, low-price mobile phones from Asia are enjoying a boom. So are smartphones. The auto industry is Infineon's biggest customer. The average new car is now fitted with 100 chips, worth a total of around 240 euros. Cars live from innovation. Think of what will make a car attractive in the future. Not just its handling, but also its fuel consumption, safety features and low emissions. All of those are driven by innovations in the chip sector. And innovation is the name of the game at the nearby research lab for electric cars. Modules like this promise longer battery life. The department has yet to make Infineon any money. But the company is confident that electric cars are the future. The electronic, an electronic car can have three times as many electronic components as a conventional one. That means three times more turnover for us. This special sector won't be up and running for another 10 years. But the general demand for chips is back on track. Infineon's employees are working full-time again, and the company is also hiring again. 300 have been employed in Dresden. The company is also boosting production capacity by a quarter, a record expansion in the company's history. The new machines and other facilities will cost 40 million euros, a clear indication that Infineon believes it has weathered the storm of recent years.